Intense rain prompts flash flood emergencies for parts of Arkansas and reports right now coming into Fox Forecast Center of flooded out roads and dangerous situations in multiple communities. The National Weather Service has put out a warning for a particularly dangerous situation in a couple of different spots. Arkansas Department of Transportation Public Information Officer Dave Parker is going to join us on the phone here. Dave, this situation that's been developing in southern Arkansas, serious. Um, they had, it looks like, some road closures. Has the highway closed down in, in parts of uh, Arkansas? Uh, yes, we do have a few state highways with full closure in the southern part of the state. Uh, uh, the best way to describe it here is ever-changing. You know, uh, we've got many, many other roads that are open, but we've got, you know, water across the roadway, so it's very, very slow going. Uh, so uh, closure-wise, full closure, the number is low, but it's ever-changing because of those rivers and creeks uh, continue to rise, as will happen through the day. We're going to get more closures, I'm sure. We've been looking at the footage just coming in from Stamps, Arkansas, where the radar estimates more than a foot of rain has fallen this morning. The radar is showing us right now over the flash flood emergency area of Columbia County, which actually extends, by the way, into northern Louisiana and the parish there, Claiborne Parish. Looks like more heavy rain is coming in. So what you're talking about is being vigilant because the water could still be rising in some of these areas. Um, any reports that you've had come in uh, that have been shocking? I mean, when you look at Arkansas, rainfall for the year. There's places like Magnolia, your community, Magnolia, Arkansas, down there in southern Arkansas, 43 inches of rain so far this year. It's been a hard, hard year for water. Yeah, I mean, the amount of rain that we've been getting is, is incredible this year. You know, I think people, uh, you know, tend to associate Arkansas sometimes weather-wise with uh, severe weather, their tornadoes and things like that, and the, the crazy winters we have. But the, the flooding this time of year is very, very impressive. And, yes, as you said, we've had 40 inches plus across some parts of our, our state, and it's going to change even more as more rain is expected later today and through the night. These pop-up storms are very, very dangerous. You know, people will see a couple of inches of, of water, but then down the road, you know, the rivers and creeks, again, rising, changing all the time. You know, you could have a foot of water easily. So uh, got to take it easy down here. It's very likely that we're going to see this threat continue through the afternoon as more as the water runs off. Any advice for people on how to get information or how to share information if they see waters rising? Uh, IDriveArkansas.com is the best thing they can check. Uh, stay in touch with your, your local authorities. It's certainly that part of the state. We've got everyone out working. Uh, just be weather aware. I'm always preaching that. I don't care what conditions we have, uh, what, what season we're in, but be weather aware. That is the, the uh, responsibility of the person out there. So have your device with you. Uh, be aware. And certainly during nighttime, as conditions, you know, uh, get worse if we get more rain tonight, uh, just, you know, take it easy and slow and stay home if you can. Yeah, as we look at this uh, second flash flood emergency and the warnings coming from the National Weather Service of being particularly dangerous situations, driving on the roads in these areas is not advised, and making sure you stay to the highest ground is what they advise people to do. Thank you for taking the time with us, Arkansas Department of Transportation Public Information Officer Dave Parker. Uh, we appreciate the update there. Stay safe. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.